Sunday Grace celebrates Earth Week, we welcome a new logistics supervisor, a special laser hair removal offer just in time for summer, and some delicious summertime slim down recipes. These stories and more coming up next on Sun and Grace Today. Hello, I'm Melanie Moss. This week we celebrate Earth Week, which is intended to inspire awareness and appreciation for the Earth's environment. Because the DMC is committed to pollution prevention and recycling, Sinai Grace has an entire week of activities scheduled that will focus on the environment. Helping our environment works if the efforts are ongoing. As a result, check your emails every day this week for information intended to help engage you in the fight towards reversing global warming and improving the health of our environment. Remember, every day is Earth Day, so put it into practice daily. The Materials Management Department welcomes Rachel Broth as their new Logistics Supervisor. Welcome Rachel to our Sinai Grace family. Get smooth in time for summer by purchasing a package of three laser hair removal treatments and receive a fourth treatment free. The package must be purchased before May 15th. The Laser Treatment Center is located at the Losser Center in Southfield. For an appointment, call 248-603-4290. With summer right around the corner, many of us are trying to slim down. Sign at Grace Hospital's Tina Taylor is with Chef Danielle to give us a few healthy recipes to help us meet our summertime weight goal. So Tina, what's on the menu? Thanks, Melanie. What's on the menu today is a lighter version of some of America's favorite foods, fried chicken, tacos, and my favorite, macaroni and cheese. I'm here with our very own Chef Danielle Dura, who's going to show us how to lighten these recipes up. So let's start with the fried chicken. How do you possibly make that lighter? Okay, I'm going to show you. Uh, I have some chicken breast, mm -hmm. I have uh, skim milk, and I have cornflake crumbles. Okay. So what you want to do is have your cut your chicken into strips. Mm -hmm. Just want to lightly dip it into the skim milk. Okay. And you want to just coat your, you just want to coat it. Fantastic. And I noticed, you, is there no oil in this recipe? There's no oil, no butter in this, in this, in this method right here. So you just want to make sure you lay them out, mm -hmm. coat them very well. Okay. And then you want to put them on a, on a, a sheet tray, bake them in the oven. And then your end result will be a crispy chicken, moist, and it still has that crunch, but not the fat. Okay, so to get the crunch, uh, what temperature should we put the oven at? You probably want to keep it at 325. For about how long? About 25 minutes, depending on how big your chicken pieces are. Okay, and you get tons of the flavor with um, less than half the fat, I'm sure. That is correct. Okay, and let's go to my favorite, which is the macaroni and cheese. Okay, with the macaroni and cheese, I, I have a low-fat cheddar cheese mm -hmm. shredded, and I do have 100% whole wheat. That makes the difference when you're cooking your, when you're changing your method of of macaroni and cheese. Mm -hmm. It helps you get your whole grain for the day. That is correct. Okay. Okay, so what I have is a my whole grain, my 100% uh, wheat pasta. Okay. And what I want to do is you, you want to use a little skim milk. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add that on. And then you want to take some cheese, kind of put it on top. Mm -hmm. And then you want to bake this just so it's golden brown, just like that. Okay, so all you're doing really is tossing it together. You don't even have to make a sauce or anything. It's just ready to go. It's ready to go. Okay, and tell me about the um, taco. Okay, the taco, what I have is uh, leaf lettuce. Mm -hmm. And this is taking the place of the shell? That is correct. It takes okay. the place of the shell. I have some uh, turkey meat, ground turkey meat. And just what are you seasoning that with to give it a kick? Um, I'm using pepper, Little Mrs. Dash, um, mm -hmm. and um, cumin, who what gives it that 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 um, that flavor. Okay, and, want, and no salt needed. For. No salt, man. Okay. So you don't have to leave out any of your favorites. I mm -hmm. have some tomatoes here. Okay. Um, I have black olives, hot peppers, and onions. You kind of add that on how you like. And then we're not going to forget about the cheese, our low fat cheese. You want to add that on? And here? Very good. A taco. 
So thanks so much, Chef Danielle, for showing us how to lighten up some of these favorite recipes. Well, you're more than welcome. I hope you'll try them at home. I'm Tina Taylor, and that's what's on the menu today. On April 22nd, our country recognized National Earth Day. While as a country we take this one day to reflect on a clean, healthy environment, the DMC is dedicated every day to prevention of pollution and recycling. Here are a few tips that you can take to help keep your work environment healthy, clean, and safe. Carpool to work whenever possible. Recycle paper. Read documents online instead of printing them out. Use double-sided photocopying or printing. Use email instead of paper copies. Use your own mugs and glasses instead of the foam and plastic cups. Put your computer in sleep mode. Turn off your computer and lights when leaving your workspace. Lower thermostats in your work area during the winter or raise them in the summer by one or two degrees to conserve energy. By practicing these simple tips, you will help keep our environment clean for future generations to come. I'm Julie Frascarelli, reminding you to keep it safe and keep it green. Hello my friends, Conrad here. Let me start by congratulating all the men and women who are a part of the Sinai Grace Emergency Department. Our emergency department, as you all know, was rated one of the top emergency departments in the entire state of Michigan. So congratulations, ED. You did a fantastic job, and we all know that you work in very, very difficult circumstances, often overcrowded and sometimes, unfortunately, understaffed. So congratulations on a great job. Second of all, I know that you all have been working very hard on process improvements in your various departments, and just let me say thank you. That work, however, will continue. The metrics that you are working on now will be used to gauge how well we are doing and point out new things we need to be doing better. This will be an ongoing process and one I'll be discussing with you regularly as we go forward through this year 2011. So again, ED, congratulations. And Sinai Grace, we're on the road to be better. Thank you. For these stories and more, you can visit our Facebook and YouTube pages for every episode of Sinai Grace Today. I'm Melanie Moss. Thanks for watching.